A number of um, uh, studies are looking at the question of what can be associated with a higher likelihood of succeeding. Um, what is coming across from most of these studies uh, are two things. One is duration of time on therapy. Another is uh, duration of time in deep molecular response. There are some others that in some studies have, have uh, been proposed, including disease burden at diagnosis, so-called risk score, um, uh, and uh, others which are uh, immune modulators, the number and the function of uh, immune cells subsets uh, prior to stopping therapy. But I, I just want to caution that you know none of these are getting close to being absolute predictors and as a result I think it's important to keep in mind that um, that in patients shouldn't patient decisions should not be made uh, on this on this alone.